I'm ending my journey here at Houghton near Loughborough. I've come to Airbus World, the UK's largest dedicated kite sports centre. And the wind really is blowing today, which is great for stunt kites. But for Stafford Wallace, only a gentle breeze is required to fly his kite. Hi, Stafford. Hello, Ali. So good, uh, good and windy kite flying weather today, then? Oh, not at all. Kites like a light, gentle wind. Kite flying is a love affair with the wind, not a battle with it, and today is a battle. It's just too strong today. It is too strong. The wind for these kites, normally about 5 to 12 miles per hour, is, is a lovely wind to fly, but today it's more like 25 miles per hour. And really, you have to have so much skill and so much control. The control of these kites is letting out line. So to stop it doing anything, I have to let out line. And in light wind, I could do the, make the kite spin six times with about 12 inches of line. But today, I, to make it spin once, I have to let out about two or three metres of line. And that's what makes it so difficult. Stafford is flying a fighting kite. These are flown in many parts of the world, but are traditionally associated with Afghanistan, Pakistan, India and Korea. It's an airborne battle in which the last kite in the air wins. Kite fighting is actually the cutting of line. So all the flyers fly on a line called manja, which is a line coated with paste and powdered glass and all sorts of gooey stuff. <laughs> oh, wow. And it is sharp line, and absolutely everybody flies on it. So you have that in the front part of the kite. So if I was having a fight at, say, 500 metres distance, I'd have about 250 metres of the sharp line in front. 500 metres, that's incredibly well, far. Well, it, it can be 1,000 metres if needs be, you know. Wow. I've just been struggling with two lines on one of these power kites on a very windy day. So if windy conditions are bad for you, how are you controlling this kite so perfectly with just one line? OK, the kite is intrinsically an unstable kite. It's, it's, it's on one line. And the wind stabilises the kite. So the wind has now stabilised the kite, and if the wind is steady, it should hold the kite steady for a long time. When I want to start playing and moving it, I let out line. And the moment I let out line, I destabilise the kite. And the moment it's unstable, I can start picking directions and going where I want to make it go. But because these are also known as fighting kites, direction is very important for attacking and also for getting out of tricky situations that you don't want to be in. Fighting kites are small and cheaply made because during a battle, all sorts of damage can be done. The average life of a kite is about three minutes. Oh, no. So, <laughs> That's so, no good. so when you go, when I go to fly kites in India, I buy about 30 kites, and at the end of the day, they've all gone. And sometimes a kite will last four or five minutes because you're winning battle after battle. But you don't win all of them, and sometimes they go after the first fight, and that could be about half a minute. And how long has kite fighting been around in India and Pakistan? Hundreds of years, oh, I really? think. And really, the interesting thing about these kites is that the technology has not changed in all those years. We have a philosophy in India, if it works, leave it alone. <laughs>